Athlete's foot is a common fungal infection that attacks your feet. Your feet are especially susceptible since they provide the fungus with a dark, moist, warm environment to thrive in. My name is Dr. Andrew Schneider, a podiatrist based in Houston with over two decades of experience. Of course, you don't have to be an athlete to suffer from athlete's foot. In today's video, I'll discuss prevention strategies from maintaining good foot hygiene to making smart footwear choices. You'll also learn about the risk factors and how to manage exposure to infection, putting you at a step ahead in the battle against athlete's foot. But before I do let others know about these videos, please like, comment, hit the subscribe button, and share on social media. This will help others find the information they need. Athlete's foot, known as tinea pedis, is a common fungal infection that primarily affects the skin on the feet. It's categorized by itching, scaling, redness, and at times blisters between the toes and the bottom of your feet. You might think it's only for athletes, but the reality is anyone can get it. The culprit is a group of fungi called dermatophytes, which thrive in warm, damp environments like your shoes or socks. They love the moist area between your toes. This fungus is contagious and can be easily caught from walking barefoot in places where infected feet have walked, especially in public areas like locker rooms or swimming pool decks. The most common symptoms include itching, burning, or stinging between your toes or on the soles of your feet. You may also notice redness, blisters, or dry scaly skin. It might even cause toenails to become discolored or pull away from the nail bed. If you're experiencing these symptoms, it's best to see a podiatrist. Athlete's foot is primarily diagnosed through a physical exam, taking into account the appearance of your feet. In some cases, I might take a skin scraping to check for fungus under a microscope. This common skin infection is typically caused by fungi that thrive in warm, damp environments. So if you often wear tight closed shoes, especially in warm weather, you're at a higher risk. Sharing footwear, or walking barefoot in public places can increase your vulnerability. People with sweaty feet or a weakened immune system might be more susceptible as well. Furthermore, having a minor skin or nail injury on your foot can provide an entry point for the fungi. Recognizing these risks can help you take preventative measures and avoid this uncomfortable condition. You can significantly reduce your risk of getting athlete's foot by adopting some simple personal hygiene practices. First of all, Keep your feet clean and dry. Fungus thrives in moist areas, so be sure to thoroughly dry your feet after bathing or swimming. Change socks regularly and choose ones that wick moisture away from your feet. They come in brands like Coolmax or Drymax. Shoes should be breathable, allowing air to circulate and keep your feet dry. This reduces the chances of athlete's foot fungus thriving in warm, moist environments. Choose shoes made from a natural material like leather or canvas rather than synthetic ones, which often trap moisture inside. Be sure your shoes are the right size too. Tight shoes can cause your feet to sweat more, increasing your chance of fungus developing. Also, be sure your shoes dry out between uses, even if it means you don't wear the same pair of shoes two days in a row. You may also consider an antifungal spray to disinfect your shoes between uses. Avoid walking barefoot in public areas like gyms, locker rooms, and pools. These places are often breeding grounds for fungi that cause athlete's foot. If you have to use public showers, wear shower shoes or flip-flops. Lastly, don't share shoes or socks with others. This fungus can easily spread from person to person. Sometimes, despite your best efforts, you may find yourself exposed to fungus that causes athlete's foot. If you start seeing or feeling symptoms of an athlete's foot infection, start by washing your feet thoroughly with soap and warm water. Make sure to clean between your toes where the fungus tends to grow. Dry your feet very well as the fungus thrives in moist environments. Next, apply an over-the-counter antifungal cream which will kill the fungus and prevent it from spreading. If you notice persistent itching, burning, or redness between your toes, or your skin starts to peel, crack, or blister, it's time to consult your podiatrist. There are prescription antifungal medications that are stronger than the over-the-counter medications. It's also crucial to see your podiatrist if your symptoms don't improve after a week of over-the-counter treatment. 
If you have diabetes or a weakened immune system, you should see a podiatrist immediately after spotting any signs of athlete's foot. If you suffer from persistent or repeat athlete's foot infections, consider applying an antifungal cream twice a week to prevent a future flare-up. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Please take a moment to like, comment, and share on social media. Be sure to hit subscribe so you won't miss another video. Athlete's foot is easily preventable with good hygiene and lifestyle habits. Be proactive in managing risks, especially in public environments. If you're already dealing with this infection, it might be time to get it checked by a podiatrist. Give us a call to schedule an appointment. The link to request an appointment is also in the description. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.